in this video, I'm going to talk to you about how you can guarantee a profit in a horse race, regardless of what happens, regardless of which horse wins within the race. So hey guys, thanks for clicking onto this video. If you're brand new to my channel and you've just stumbled across me, hi there, my name's Liam and I'm teaching people how they can make lots of money online using match betting. If you don't know what match betting is, it's about using bookmakers free bets and bookmakers promotional offers to our advantage to lock in risk-free, tax-free, guaranteed cash. If you want to learn more, check out my website, ProfitPineapple.com, where I've got a 15-minute crash course, which will get you started, and you can lock in 65 quid on my website as well. Um, but this video is basically, it's going to be pretty similar to the video that I released pretty recently about um, covering the whole field with extra places using the extra place matcher. Uh, but this method what I'm going to show you in this video is slightly different because this method relies on placing no bets whatsoever on a betting exchange. So it doesn't even involve using a betting exchange, which is kind of weird. I know people think of match betting, they think of backing with a bookmaker, laying with a betting exchange, you know, job done. But this method that I'm going to show you is called dutching and it literally just relies on backing the horses with different bookmakers. So backing every single one of the horses with different bookmakers and locking in a guaranteed profit that way. Now we've got to do this using extra places. We can't just back every horse using the win market only because of the uh, the overround and the margin that the bookmakers got in their favour. If we were to do that, if we were to back every single horse uh, across a horse race for over different bookmakers, we would actually find that we would lose a small amount of money because the bookmaker stacks the odds and the margin in their favour. So we can't do it that way. It's not that easy, unfortunately. So the way that we've got to do it is we've got to use extra places and we've got to back the win in each way with every single horse in a horse race and this will lock us in a guaranteed profit. So just before I jump in and explain exactly how this works in a step-by-step -step format over on my computer screen, if you won't mind, if you find this video useful, or entertaining or it helps you out at any point please hit that like button just below the video screen it'll take you about two seconds and it helps me and my youtube channel out massively so that's just a little favor that i'm asking from you as i'm giving away this uh completely free on youtube and this is a really uh, great way of making some big profits from match ben so if you won't mind tapping that like button i'd really appreciate that and if you want to subscribe that's much appreciated as well and if you do that you'll get the videos that i release as soon as i put them onto youtube Okay then, so without further ado, I'm going to jump on my computer screen and I'm going to show you how you can back the win in each way on every single horse using various different bookmakers and locking a guaranteed profit regardless of what happens within the race. So let's jump over to the computer screen and let's get started. Okay, so dutching extra places. This is a really, really good trick and you can use this to be really, really effective at making some big profits. Now just a disclaimer before I do jump in, um, it isn't going to be possible to do this on every single race. It just isn't. Um, the odds aren't going to be good enough and it's not going to be working out profitable in your favour on, on most races. But at big racing meetings and big racing festivals, it's very much possible to dutch the whole field. So bet on every single horse within the field, not, not lay the horse, just literally back the win and the each way with every single horse across various different bookmakers and guarantee a profit regardless of what happens. Now, the profit isn't going to be fixed, so you're going to have different levels and different profits, but it's always going to be profitable in your favour and you're always going to um, make a profit um, so let's jump in then and what you want to do is you want to find a horse race on a bookmakers website so what I recommend is just using bet365 to start off with um, so you can see this this horse race here uh, and then you want to find a race what has either the bookmaker paying out on four places or five places and that tells you at the top here so you can see here it says each way one quarter odds one two three or four uh, so you want to find a race which is paying out uh, either four places or five places with a bookmaker. Now obviously you're going to be using various different bookmakers to do it, but I always find that Bet365 is the best place to uh, to start. Um, so once you've found a horse race, which is either paying out on four places or five places, what you want to do is you want to jump over to Odds Monkey. Um, so I'm just here in a new tab. Click on Tools uh, and then click on Spreadsheets down here near the bottom of the Tools tab. And then at the top here where it's... Uh, shows you different options along this bar, you want to click on Dutching and it'll bring up all the Dutching spreadsheets. So you can see here there's either Dutching Extra Places 4 places or Dutching Extra Places 5 places. Now you need to choose a spreadsheet which um, which is applicable to the horse race that you've found. So you can see with me on Bet365 that's 1, 2, 3 and 4. So that's 4 places and that's the 4 place spreadsheet. Um, if you want to sign up for Odds Monkey for a free trial, I'll leave my affiliate link down below in the description. Um, if you do sign up for the free trial and then you upgrade your account to a premium account, uh, Odds Monkey do throw me a little commission, 
which helps me out massively. No pressure, you don't have to do it or anything. But if you are going to sign up and you are going to try it, please do use my link down below in the description. Cheers, guys. I really appreciate that. Uh, but anyway, what you want to do is you want to load up whichever sheet is applicable to you. So for, for me, for this race here, it's four places, right? One, two, three, four. So I'm going to just click on it and then that will download to your computer there like that. So what you want to do once you've downloaded that spreadsheet is you want to open it out in Excel. Now, if you don't have Excel and fully works like, you know, 100 quid a year or something like that, uh, don't buy it if you don't have it. You can just open this out in Google Sheets. Now, Google Sheets is completely free for anyone to use, providing they have a Google account. So if you don't have a Google account and you don't have Excel, quickly make yourself a Google account. It'll take you a few minutes to do. Uh, that'll open a blank spreadsheet for you. And then just click File in the top left-hand corner. Click on Open. And then change the, uh, the, the tab on the menu here to Upload. Once you've done that, you want to just drag and drop the spreadsheet that you've downloaded into, into this box here. Uh, that'll upload the spreadsheet to Google Sheets. Give it a second. And there we go. It drops it right into Google Sheets for you. And you can use the spreadsheet using Google Sheets if you don't have Excel. But for me personally, I actually have Excel. So I'm just going to open it out in Excel. So basically, this is the spreadsheet that you get for Dutchin. Um, it might look a little bit confusing. It really isn't that confusing. And I'm going to go through it with you step by step. So basically... It gives you some instructions down at the right hand column here. So it says here, you only need to enter data in the blue columns. Everything else is locked as the calculations are self populated. So whatever you put in the blue columns, the red columns, update accordingly and give you the calculation basically. So yeah, basically what you want to start doing, I'm going to split these, uh, split my screen up here if I can. So I'm going to put Bet365 there like that. I'm going to put that there like that. So what you want to do is you want to go through the field and you want to start entering the horses names into this horse column here so you can see here the first horse is called um, cross perk so you want to enter cross perk in there second one potterman potterman and the third one l pres -T, whatever that says there enrelio and you get the idea you just go through entering the horse uh, the horse's name along this uh, horse column here and once you've done that move to the next column bookmaker and then you want to enter the bookmaker that you'll be placing the each way bet with so let's say the first one will be bet365 and the next one oops the next one might be something like sky bet and after that it might be that bookmaker and then it might be bet365 again and then you just go go down uh, entering the bookmaker on each horse that you've done now, a quick question here that I got asked quite a lot in my Cover and Extra Places video, which if you haven't seen, check it out. It's a really good watch, and it'll give you some new tricks you can use to cover the field with extra places and lock in some big profits, along with this method as well. Uh, but what I got asked quite a lot in that video is how many horses can you cover uh, with each individual bookmaker? And the rule of form, which I've seen this on Odds Monkey's website, I've seen other YouTubers who talk about match betting say this as well, but the rule of form with each individual bookmaker is to get on as many horses as, that, as they're paying out in places. So for example, if the bookmaker's paying out on four places, like they are in this race here, you'd wanna get on a maximum of four horses within that race. If they were paying out on five places, you could get on a maximum of five places within that race, and so on and so forth. That's the rule of thumb. Um, you obviously can go slightly above that or slightly below it. But what I wouldn't recommend doing is getting on every single horse on, on one bookmaker. So every single horse in this race, you wouldn't just wanna get on all 16 horses it wouldn't be very good for your account health and it would give you a really really high chance of getting a restriction and getting a gubbin so the rule of thumb like i said is um as many horses as the bookmaker is paying out in places up to a maximum of that and then when you get to the odds column uh, which is here you want to enter the odds in for each individual horse so you start at cross perk again in this example back odds are 17 potterman back odds are 12 uh El Presente, the back odds with him are 12 again, and uh, Enrilio, odds are 5, and you just get the idea, you go down the list, entering all the back odds there with the bookmaker, and once you've got to the bottom, once you've done all the horses, you entered all the horses' names, the bookmakers are using the back odds along this, uh, this column here, you want to enter in the place terms in this next column here, so it's either going to be one quarter odds or one fifth odds, which is the... Uh, the the percent the fraction of what the bookmakers are paying out 
if the horse lands within an extra place. If the horse lands within an extra place in this race, they'll pay a quarter odds on the back odds, as it's shown there. So whichever uh, place term it is with each, with each individual bookmaker, sometimes you might have uh, four, sometimes you might have five in, diff in the same race, but just different place terms. If it's four, you want to enter four into this column here, or if it's five, you want to change it to five like that. Five represents one fifth, and four represents one quarter. So that's what you do. And then finally, when you get to this end column here, this approx return of place, this is what you want to enter in. And this will basically give you more profit the larger the numbers you use, but obviously it's going to tie up more of your money. It's going to tie up more of your balance doing that. So you want to enter in a number you feel comfortable uh, with. This obviously doesn't equal the exact profit you're going to make, but the higher the number you're using, the more profit you will make from it. If the race is profitable, which I'll get onto in just a second. So let's just say we wanted to use a 400 pound Approx return if placed. Once you've done that, you want to cover that across all the horses. So to do it, just click on, on the, um, the top one there, drag it down, and that just changes all the columns, updates all the columns and stuff like that. Now to work out if the race is profitable, I'm just going to maximise that again. To work out if the race is profitable, you just uh, move your eyes over to this side of the screen, the right-hand side of the spreadsheet, and then you want to look at this based on actual stakes box here so the lowest return in this example you can see is uh, £82.50 that's shown there and the highest return is £651.25 now that isn't actually right because I haven't gone down the whole field I've just left these in what we're already in before so what I'm saying here is not every race is going to be profitable you might get to the end of the field filling all the odds filling all the horses and stuff like that you might get to the bottom of the field and then this lowest return box might show a negative, so it might show, let's say, it might show minus 200 in this example, and the highest return might show 651. Um, so obviously there's a chance you'd lose money there, so you wouldn't want to be getting on that. Any time that this box here shows a lowest return of below zero, there's a chance you'll lose money and you wouldn't want to touch those races. So it's only applicable this on certain horse races, so big horse racing meetings, big horse racing festivals where there's a lot of money, there's a lot of interest, and uh, the bookmakers can... You know, give out some nice enticing odds to their punters. Not every horse race is applicable. It's worth checking before you jump on a horse race, and it might be worth just ignoring putting the horses in and ignoring putting the bookmakers in and just putting in all the odds first and then putting in the approx return if placed and then just checking if the horse race is actually profitable before you go in, uh, putting all the horses' names and the bookmakers' names in there. Um, so what I'm going to do to save a little bit of time because I don't really want to fill in all this spreadsheet and waste your time, I've actually got... Uh, a spreadsheet from Cheltenham this year where I made a good profit. I'm going to show you exactly how it works. So I'm going to cross that one off now. Um, minimize that. So I'm just going to open out this sheet here. And you can see, like I just said, this was a profitable race from Cheltenham this year. And you can see on the right hand side that I knew it was already going to be profitable before the race had even concluded because the lowest profit, as shown there, as I was just explaining, um, is way above zero. So if that was underneath zero, we'd know that the race had a chance of not being profitable but because the lowest profit that I, could, that I could possibly have received was 281 pounds you know I was fine to do this and guarantee a profit so basically this race was uh, four places the bookmaker was paying it on four places so I used the four place spreadsheet as it says at the top uh, and because of that the bookmakers payout uh, terms on the place was a uh, fifth odds so you can see i put five all the way down each of the columns there now we're ducting obviously we're not using a betting exchange and we're not placing any lay bets so the total accumulative amount of money that i placed on back bets across all the bookmakers is obviously shown in this total stake here this total stake column you can see 525 130 315 and so on and so forth and obviously the each way bet at the side of that is obviously just divided by two so the total stake across all the bookmakers and all the bets I've placed is shown there. And if you scroll to the bottom of the spreadsheet, you see where it says here, total outlay. That is the overall amount of money that I've placed on back bets, each way back bets across all the different bookmakers. Now, I know it says outlay, and I know it might be a little bit confusing, and it might make you think of like betting exchanges and lay bets, but it just literally means the, the total amount of back bets that you've placed across all the bookmakers, you know, on each way back bets. So that number down there at the bottom of the spreadsheet is the amount of money that you're going to need to tie up across all the bookmakers to, to dutch the field. So obviously if you didn't have that amount of money, you could just come over here to the approx return if placed, as I was explaining earlier, and just make that a little bit smaller and drag that down across all the runners like that. And you can see the outlay drops down significantly there so obviously the more money you have the more money you can make but if you don't have quite as much money you'd have to drop the approx return if place down a little bit and that will reduce the outlay and reduce these uh 
potential profits on the right hand side as well but for me in this race i did a prox return placed 500 across all the horses and that gave me a total outlay a total accumulative each way back stake across all the different bookmakers of just shy of about three thousand pounds so what you want to do now is just chill out relax you can take it easy your hard work's done for the dutching after you've backed each way with all the horses within the horse race uh, so just chill out relax and wait until the horse race actually concludes so when the horse race actually concludes what i do is i go over to this website here um it's actually it's called sporting life and this is a really good website for checking where the horses landed within what positions within the race so i use this website i think it looks really nice and really clear um so what you want to do you want to just find the race that you've uh, you've dutched and then once you've got the, that page up on your screen just switch this tab here where it says race card just switch that over to result which is this tab at the end here and it will show you not only the winner of the horse it shows you that which position every single horse finished in within the race so obviously this is perfect for us because we need to know which horse finished work and which profits we're going to make. So what you do, what you do is just go to the, uh, the the winner of the race, which says here first. Obviously the winner here was Honeysuckle. Uh, so you then jump back to your spreadsheet. You find the winner, which you've got on your spreadsheet, which in my case is Honeysuckle. You can see that there, Honeysuckle. And then you come over here to this actual return box over here on the right hand side. Click into that. And then you want to add up the uh, the win return, which is shown in this box here on the on the winner, which was Honeysuckle, and the place return, because obviously the, the horse has won the race and it's finished within one of the extra places as well. So you'll just uh, go to the actual return box at the end here, key in equals sum, and then open bracket, uh, and then you just want to add up the two uh, columns there. So first one, the win return is M8. Once you've got that, you can just drag it across to the actual place return as well. So you're covering the win return and the actual place return. You don't have to use the calculation. You can just manually enter the numbers in if you don't like using the formulas and stuff. Uh, so just press enter and that will give you the actual return for that horse winning the race and landing within an extra place. And then you go back to the website again. And then you look at what finished number two in the race, which was this one here. Sarja, however you pronounce that. So you jump back to the spreadsheet again. Find, find that runner, which for me it's the, the third bottom one here, Sarja. Again, go to the actual return uh, box on the right hand side here. And then you want to just do the same thing again. So equal sum, open bracket. And then you just want to add in the place return this time, because obviously the horse hasn't won. It's only landed in an extra place. You only get paid out uh, the place return. So equal sum, and then find the column that, um, that is the place return. So you can see it's N. 12 for me so n12 so yeah for bottom one then just click enter and then that pops in the place return for you there as well now what you want to do is you just want to do this for every horse that landed within the extra place so the winner of the horse that would be the win and the place return you cover both of them in that column and then the place return on however many places the bookmaker was paying out on so they were paying out on four places in this one so you would find each one of the horses which finished in the four places the winner and then the other three which finished in the uh, four places add all those numbers into the actual return box and when you've done that i've just got it in a different spreadsheet here so i'm going to cross this one off just to save a little bit of time when you've done that and when you've added up the winner and the place the, win the winning horse and the horse which placed and then the three other horses which just placed into the actual return boxes here but what you can do is you can scroll down to the bottom of the sheet and this is how the spreadsheet works out your profit so it takes the total return so this number here 3210 in my example and it takes that from all the uh, the returns that you put into this column here it deducts that number from the total outlay so remember that total accumulative each way back stakes that you place with the bookmaker and then it gives you the, the the difference between the two numbers and the actual profit there at the bottom and that's obviously your profit the difference between how much return you got and how much you invested and in this example you can see there at the bottom my actual profit my actual return was just over 285 pounds which isn't bad for about 10 or 15 minutes work but unfortunately it was only just slightly over the lowest return and this was pretty much because the uh the horse with the, the shortest odds won the race if one of the outsiders would have run the race um like i said this one here with odds of 126 it's not so sleepy then my profit would have been much larger but you can see it's still a guaranteed profit you're still going to profit somewhere between the lowest return 
and the highest return. You've just got to make sure that the lowest return isn't negative. It's always positive to some degree. Uh, one thing I just wanted to mention as well with, with this, um, if you're getting something that looks like an error in the win return box here, so if we zoom that out, you can see that looks like there's an error there, doesn't it, on the, um, on the win return isn't actually an error it's because the spreadsheet isn't zoomed in enough so you go to the bottom right hand corner click on zoom in and then that will zoom the numbers in and you'll get more uh, more of the numbers filled in within the field or you could just highlight over them and then it shows you the returns like that as well so yeah that's pretty much how it works Dutching is a really really popular uh, way of doing match betting and covering extra places it doesn't involve using a betting exchange whatsoever it's all about just backing the winning each way of a bookmaker and uh, just getting the merging and the over end in your favor um, again, it only really works at big horse racing meetings and big horse racing festivals where the bookmakers are trying to be as generous as they possibly can to try and suck in as many people by giving out really enticing odds. And when they do this, because they're not too great at pricing their place markets and they're a little bit lazy at doing it, um, this you can get the margin in your favour and you can lock in a guaranteed profit and it's really easy because you can just do it by backing with a bookmaker's website and you don't have to do any lay bets or anything like that. Again, I'll just reiterate as well that you'd want to be getting on no more than the amount of places that the bookmaker's paying out on. So if a bookmaker is paying out on four extra places, the max you should get on with that bookmaker is four horses, four each way bets on four different horses. And what I've found in my experience is it works really well this on uh, shorter fields, this, this horse race only had 10 runners um, and when, when it's really competitive, so when bookmakers are really fighting for the pu public's custom and they're offering really enticing odds, and you can see on the extra place match there's lots of uh, high ratings what are in green, so like 97, 98% plus matches. This is when this will work really well, I find, because there's not a great deal of runners and you can quickly do it and the uh, the merging's going to stay in your favour. So I hope that uh, made sense to you. Um, I'd recommend just trying it out for yourself, having a little play around with the spreadsheet, and it'll quickly become very simple to you what you need to do to dutch the, uh, dutch the fear with extra places. Uh, if you enjoyed this video guys, if you want mine, please hit the subscribe button. It helps me and my YouTube channel out absolutely massively and it'll give you my videos as soon as they're released in different ways of making money online from match betting. I know a lot of them have been doing this quite a long time now, um, so if you want more ways of making money from match betting, you want them straight away as soon as they're released and you want to help me out, which is always really, really appreciated, tap that subscribe button and uh, YouTube will send you those videos as soon as I put them on. And if you want to get that free trial of Odds Monkey, again, I'll leave that link down below in the description. And yeah, that pretty much wraps up the video. Thank you very much for watching the video, guys. I really appreciate your time in watching. And I'll see you soon in the next video.